on Kitchen Nightmares. It's about time to find the lamb sauce. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks, Ace here, and I hope you're doing well. Now, for today's video, we're going to go ahead and tackle Real Chef. This is the second to last game currently in the Best Games in My Vegas series. I think this will be out uh, December 4th, so this, uh, this is a Wednesday that we're doing this. And I don't think they've dropped a new game yet, um, because, uh, yeah, just because we're getting so close to the end of the series, I'm going to go ahead and ramp up the action over here. So we're going to be betting about uh, four and a half million chips every spin here, and we're going to see uh, just how hard we can do this, see how many loyalty points we can pull down, and how many uh, level ups we can do. So let's go ahead and put 100 spins on the clock, on your mark, get set, ready, and go. Alright guys, so we have got a little Real Chef action going on over here. So this is a little different from the uh, game on the PC, mainly because the game on the PC is this weird kind of multi-rail slot sort of thing. Uh, this one is a little more reasonable. It's a standard 5-rail slot. Man, look at those wilds. Look at those go. Okay. Uh, so we're not doing too bad so far. Uh, and, you know, obviously the real chef is kind of a parody of the celebrity uh, restaurants there. Kind of like, uh, if you guys remember that one time we went to Wolfgang Puck's at the MGM Grand. I'll go ahead and link that video if you guys haven't seen that one yet. Uh, that's uh, that, was, that was a pretty fun time, and actually they weren't too bad. A little overpriced, but, you know, it was a lot cheaper after the My Vegas comp, too. So I didn't mind quite as much. So that one, that one wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see what else do we have going on over here. I've got some really exciting stuff kind of coming up in the works in addition to uh, the trip report that I dropped uh, this last weekend and as well as the uh, hotel tour. I've got a lot more travel vlogs coming up. I'm trying to work out a new, uh, I'm trying to get a good uh, podcast going. Uh, really would like to see about getting some new co-hosts for that, so if you guys have any suggestions for me, leave them in the comment section down below. As I do, you know, I, I love connecting with people, and it'd just be fun to kind of get some co-host action on that over there, so... Just putting that out there. In the meantime, though, yeah, we've got lots of, lots of travel vlogs that we're going to be putting out over the next couple weeks uh, while we're getting ready for our ARIA trip. And, uh, yeah, and got something really exciting with another partner kind of kind of coming up here. Can't tell you exactly all the details quite yet. It's uh, not set in stone, but something that we're working on. So hopefully you can get that set in stone pretty soon, and then I can tell you guys about that and get you all involved in that uh, in that cool little crossover that we got coming up here. All right, so while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and see how we're doing here. So far, we've lost, wow, over 100, oh, nearly 100 million so far. I think we've lost 80 million chips, and we're only like uh, 35, maybe 40 spins into this. Yeah, just not going nearly as well as I thought this was going to go. Kind of makes me wonder. So what's everybody's favorite uh, favorite restaurant in Vegas? Just out of curiosity, too. I would love to know what everybody's favorite restaurant is in uh, Las Vegas. Just so we have a list, I'd love to make a top 10 list one of these days of the best restaurants to go to in Vegas. Only problem with that is there's so many magnificent places to eat. Say what you will about the celebrity chef restaurants. This stuff's pretty tasty. Now, you can get that from any great steakhouse over there. It's not like they're not going to employ the best, uh, but, you know, it's just so hard to narrow down what uh, the best places to eat in Vegas are. Because there's so many, different, uh, so many different types of food. I mean... You have different ethnic foods, and you have different categories, too. I mean, you, know, you get best burger in Vegas, best steak in Vegas, best Chinese food in Vegas, best Japanese food in Vegas, best sushi in Vegas, which is a separate category. It's just so difficult to figure out the, you know, the best place to eat, and, you know, it also depends on your dietary restrictions, too, but that is something that I do love about Las Vegas, is the fact that they can, they can adjust to basically any dietary uh, restriction. Now, there's some things they can't do. They can't substitute a steak with a portobello mushroom uh, cut or anything like that, but, um, you know, and that, that's a nice thing about traveling with a vegetarian, because she, uh, you know, she, she presents these situations, and I remember one time I went, uh, went with Wendy, and it, it was for our anniversary, and she's like, oh, babe, I don't want to, you know, we can't eat here, because I don't see, I don't immediately see any vegetarian options, so I called the host over, I'm like, hey, host, real quick, uh, you know, my lady's vegetarian, what can you guys do for her? Oh, whatever you want, sir. Any, anything that you want, you know, substitute things with beans and all that, they're really good about adapting for people's different, uh, 
you know, different dietary restrictions and all that, because people do have dietary restrictions, there are food allergies, um, you know, there are religious constraints too, like, uh, you know, cer you know, certain people in certain religions can't eat certain things, so that's actually really important, so it's really, it really kind of speaks to how good they are at these things, uh, just to show how, how adaptable they are too, so that's really good, another reason that I do like Vegas. Alright, we're coming up on the last half of the game over here. And I think we've got about, let's see, I think we're coming up on 75 spins over here. And we're just burning up these loyalty points. There we go, there's a big one, 22 million. That's keeping us above water there. Alright. Yeah, definitely on 75 spins now. And there's another 3.5 million. No bonus yet, though. I'd like to see what these uh, bonuses turn out to be. Hopefully I'm not playing too fast, because I'd really like to see at least one bonus before we get on out of here. And this, yeah, the reels just go so fast on this one. I think we've lost a lot of chips, unfortunately, already. We've had some good wins. Oh, uh, wait, wait, maybe we got a bonus, maybe we got a bonus coming up. No, no bonus, no whammy, no whammy, that's a shame. Alright. Yeah, it's like uh, one spin every every other second right now, that's actually really wild. So this is got probably going to be like the shortest, best games in Vegas of all time here. Oh, okay, that was, a, that was a pretty quick one. Also, thinking about doing a little something on sports betting pretty soon. Uh, it's supposed to be legalized uh, nationwide, I understand, pretty soon here. And uh, Colorado's definitely adopting that stance, so I'm actually kind of excited to go back up to the local casino and maybe do a little something with that, so that'll be pretty cool. So I think sports betting is probably the best uh, best bargain in all of gambling there. Um, I think if you ask Anthony Curtis, professional uh, gambler there, you'd say that, you know, if you're looking for a good bargain as far as gambling goes, that's definitely the way to do it. If you want to save some money trying to gamble, that's the way to do it. Alright, cool, cool. So, dang, we're, uh, we're coming up on these last 10 spins over here. And I'm just not getting any bonuses. I mean, we're just ripping up the loyalty points over here. No questions asked. Tearing it up. But I'm just not seeing the uh, bonuses that I want here. Alright. Wait, maybe, maybe maybe I spoke too soon. Nope, okay. Another near miss. Yeah, this is not gonna get a this is not gonna get a heart. <laughs> We've lost way too many chips here. I see why this is like not a game you guys were fixing to vote for. Alright guys. So after this one I think it's gonna be last spin. Ah Okay, little win, little win. And we got some loyalty points on that there. Alright guys, so it looks like we ended up with 1,277,724,324 chips. So that gives me just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and do some maths over here. We'll take a quick break and I'll uh, count up the booty. Man, Chef Ramsay's worried about the bloody lamb sauce. I'm worried about the bloody payback percentage over here. We're looking at a payback percentage of 46.18%. That is definitely one of our worst ones over here. I like the idea of Real Chef, and, you know, it, it put out almost enough for me to get a free spin, but I'm just getting nothing on the Real Chef over there. Definitely going to recommend against this one. So now the time has come. A thousand and one wilds is our very last game in the best games in my biggest slots. Then we can finally do our final calculations and see which game in my biggest slots is the best one just to spin down by yourself to get the best payback percentage over a short period of time anyway. So alright guys, until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, happy spinning, and ah, don't serve rotten food.